once you have an inflationary boom, you have to have a recession. Recession is a necessary product of the boom. Therefore, the best thing to do is get it over with fast, right? And then, then you have a recovery situation. In other words, let the market do its recession adjustment work quickly so that you get back to full employment very rapidly. <clears throat> Now, before 1929, I'm not saying we had monetary freedom before 29, but before 1929, the government did not interfere in recessions. It somehow felt that its business was not was allowed the free market to work. And so recessions were over with very quickly. For example, the 1921 recession, 2021 recession, which Benjamin Anderson called the last free market recession, last pre-New Deal recession, <clears throat> uh, the, uh, it had been brought about by the government through wartime inflation and so forth. But once the recession hit, the government had hands off, and the recession, which is very deep, it was real depression, it was big unemployment, prices fell sharply, it was a lot of bankruptcies. It was over in nine months, but essentially over, by the time the status of that period, who were getting stronger, not as strong as they were later, by the time the status <clears throat> had convinced President Harding, by the way, Harding is one of my favorite, one of my only quasi-favorite president of the 20th century. He's kind of a lovable character. He. Uh, <laughs> His instincts were pretty good. He just wanted to sit, sit in the White House and play poker. And uh, <clears throat> by the time the status were headed by Hoover, by the way, it's another story I can't get into now since I'm already getting over time. Uh, the status headed by Hoover, just about, who, who was very powerful in the Harding administration, just about convinced Harding to start intervening massively. You've got to check this depression. You've got a big public works increase and big inflation of credit. By the time he was able to convince Hoover, I mean Harding, the recession was over. The free market had worked so fast that the government couldn't intervene. At that point, Hoover pledged to himself and to the public that if he became president, uh, he, would he would not wait. He would intervene right away. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> and sure enough, uh, in the fall of 1929, he was unfortunately president, and uh, we had a big stock market crash. He intervened massively and immediately, and thereby prolonged the depression for his four years in office. And Roosevelt essentially intensified his policy, he prolonged it until 19, so he got, he got us into war in 1940-41. So, <clears throat> the, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, <clears throat> the Austrian position then is if you've got to stop, in, if you're in a boom period, stop inflating fast, as soon as, you, as soon as possible, right away, push the button, stop expanding money, and then sit the recession out, don't intervene in it, so, so it will be over with fast. <clears throat> it's like the difference between a surgical thing where you cut off a, a tumor or something like that, or else a chronic, a chronic depression where, the, where you're sick constantly and getting sicker. Uh, it's an acute thing versus a chronic depression. <clears throat> and so uh, by fine-tuning, trying to fine-tune the system to bring to end inflation without, without depression, Freemanite monetarism got us into a big depression. And then by that time, this, then of course the deficits increased Monetarism was discredited probably more than it should have been. Lafferism was discredited more than it should have been because they never tried Lafferism. <clears throat> they never had the tax cut to test it. But at any rate, the way the media operates and politics operates, <clears throat> the result of all this infighting is that the conservative Keynesians are now taken over. They're now in the saddle, and they're increasing deficits and increasing taxes to meet the deficits and so forth and so on. And we're back to the good old days of the Keynesian epoch, and at least politically. We will not get out of it until... Uh, well, I don't know, until we take over, I suppose. <laughs> Thank you.